in life, one thing that helps us to understand the bigger picture are, are things called models. So one thing in statistics that you're going to hear a lot is, is a normal model. Okay, so what is normal? A normal model is something that we will use over and over and over and over again in statistics in order to uh, come up with inferential statistics, in order to make predictions, in order to um, find probabilities, in order to uh, just analyze data. We use normal models, just like you would use a, a model of an airplane in a wind tunnel or a model of a car in a wind tunnel on a small scale so that when you go big scale you can understand things better. We use models in statistics and we want to focus right now on the normal model. Well a normal model is bell-shaped and symmetric. Okay, then Whenever you hear the word normal you should know that we're talking about a bell-shaped curve and it is symmetric. Those two things go hand in hand. Bell-shaped and symmetric is a way that you can describe a normal model. And there's some notation to describe a normal model. So let's say, once again, this distribution right here, this picture right here represents our Wookiee data. And if you remember back, you've been watching, if you've been watching the other parts of these videos, um, the center of the distribution, since this is bell-shaped, the way that we will describe the center of the distribution is to use the mean. And the mean height for Wookiees was 88.5 inches. So the mean is right here in the middle at about 88.5 inches. That's an I for inches. And we knew that the standard deviation of this data set, the standard deviation was um, 5.2 inches. So how can we use uh, this mean and the standard deviation to talk about the notation of this distribution? This is the shape of the distribution, but how do we describe it using uh, notation? Well, whenever you see this capital N, that tells you that we are using a normal model, a bell-shaped and symmetric distribution, a bell-shaped and, and symmetric model. And the way we would write the notation for this Wookiee data would be in, and then in parentheses, we have mu, which is the population mean, 88.5, comma, sigma, which is the, the population standard deviation, 5.2. So whenever you see this type of notation right here, what you should be able to tell me or tell yourself is that I'm dealing with a normal model that has a mean of 88.5 and a standard deviation of 5.2. And since it is a normal model, we should also know that it is bell-shaped and symmetric. A normal model is always bell-shaped and symmetric. So in this case, if you see this, you know it's a bell-shaped and symmetric distribution with a mean of 88.5 and a standard deviation of 5.2. And one other thing I want to point out is that we're using parameters to describe the model because the model is supposed to, um, is supposed to, to represent the population. Parameters, we always use Greek letters like mu or sigma, and this represents the population. But if we're dealing with statistics, statistics come from samples. So instead of using mu or sigma, if I wanted the, the sample mean, I would use x bar or lowercase s for standard deviation because this comes from a sample. So you should always write, use the right notation. If I'm talking about a normal model, that is a model of the population. So this 88.5 should be labeled as mu because it represents the population, and the 5.2 is sigma because it represents the population standard deviation. If I got this from a sample, then I would use x bar and s.